will ignore me for one second. Close. All right. Ooh, this lighting is actually quite nice. Although you see the mess over there, which is okay. All right. Audio works. That's good. Let's turn my volume down on this side a little bit. Hope everyone is doing well. I don't think I actually announced this one as much as I normally do, but welcome. Welcome to tonight's live stream, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are in my now extended kitchen um, and plant corner. <laughs> Any other plant lovers here, please do share what are your favorites. I, for some reason, I kill most things, but my spider plant's doing well, as well as um, my, I think they're called shamrocks doing well. Hey, Nelly, welcome to today's live stream, love. How you doing? Hope you're well. Um, oh, keep trying for those bags. You never know. People might take them off of a uh, reservation if they no longer need it. So we are in a different space today. I think the last time I was in close to this area, it was last year when I was doing the gift baskets. So it is that time of year again, and here we are. So today um, we are doing some fun product haul, personal product haul for myself. But first I want to show you some of my holiday stuff. If you're on watching live, leave a high, leave a hey, let us know what part of the world you're watching from. And if you're watching as a replay, also leave a high, leave a hey, and make sure you do do that hashtag replay so that I can say hello back in the comments section. Um, I'm a little bit blinky today. I don't know. My, my eye is really bothering me. My, it's like, I don't know if it's allergies i can't don't think it's allergies anyways i wanted to show you guys some of my holiday decor hi pam welcome to today night's live stream how you doing we are in my new kitchen area because my kids are sleeping in my office my room is a disaster my basement just didn't feel like the right space so and i wanted to show off my new counter so we're gonna do that but let me show you guys my my decor that i had set up today isn't it so cute? Uh, so we just got this countertop in over the weekend and I ridiculously, ridiculously love it. These are from Avon from last year. Aren't they stunning? I ridiculously love them. They, they come as a single, but you never saw it. She's like, ooh, and even Nelson was like, ooh, I like it. It's like the faux, the faux fur. It's just so fun. The kids love it. Thank you. I love this space. I ridiculously love this space, especially when it's all lit up like this. It's so pretty. Um, and then these, I actually think I got these from Ikea during my for my wedding. And same thing with the snowman. We got him for my wedding as well. The relatives have arrived. However, the relatives are not feeling well and therefore they are at a hotel. Um, they just have a cold, but I'm being ridiculously careful because um, I'm going to see grandma in... Two and a half weeks? Yeah, in about two and a half weeks, so I have to be really, really, really careful. But they're coming up tomorrow. Yeah, they're coming up tomorrow. Um, they We've just kind of been pushing it back until they're, they're less, like, yucky and gross feeling. Um, yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm glad that they're okay with that, too. So it, it's good, it's good, it's good. Oh, let me get, show you guys this. One second, one second. Oh, this is so cute. You ready? But ignore the mess over here. But this is my other thing that I had done. Okay, I'm wondering if you able to see it. Do you see that? Isn't that so cute? That's outside in my backyard. We got blow-ups this year. I'll be posting some more up on Instagram and on Facebook. Let's blow up Santa with raccoons pulling his sleigh. I thought that was so cheeky. I love it. I have a giant snowman, so I'll post those up soon. I have a video, little video that I'm working on. All right, on to tonight's live stream, my friends. So tonight we are doing a personal product haul. These are items I did get for myself. Ignore this messy part back here, but I gotta say this lighting is pretty bomb. It's quite nice. Um, and so first off, I really, really, really have to show you this. I'm excited. I haven't opened up the majority of these items. I haven't opened up, but this is that suction cup um, mirror. It's the 10 times magnifying suction cup mirror, and I was excited to see how well it actually works. Have, has anyone tried this yet? And how, what, how's, how was, uh, how was everybody's weekend? It was cold this weekend, cold and windy up here, like, well, where I am anyways. All right, so here it is. Okay, nice and compact, great for travel. All right, so 
whoa okay this is gonna feel very weird but this is what it looks like and it has like a little suction cup at the back here which makes it really handy and i wonder oh yeah i guess i guess huh, i'm gonna have to test this out a little bit it's still kind of blurry for me but it does definitely magnify yeah i guess i don't have to get so close Ooh, wow but you can really see every hair that i missed plucking <laughs> But yeah, that's it. Ooh, that's very, very, very warpy. But yes, so that is the um, 10 times magnifying suction cup mirror. I'll have to try it in my office tomorrow while I'm doing my makeup to see how it feels and everything. Right now, it's a little disorienting. Um, but it's, it, I mean, it's convenient because it is like suction cups. So I can just put it onto any sort of surface, which is always great. And the size is 13 cm, uh, 13 cm by 3 cm. Yeah, 13 by, by 3 cm deep, all right? And uh, there's $35 in the brochure, but there is a promo, I think, for something like, I can't, I can't remember exactly how much, but anyways, there is a promo in the brochure right now if you are looking for that. Hello, everybody who's just joining us tonight. Leave a hi, leave a hey. Let us know what part of the world you're watching from. And happy holidays, everybody. Ah. Okay, so next thing I want to share this, the Belief SPF. SPF, yes, SPF Aqua Balm uh, Broad Spectrum 50 Sunscreen and Moisturizer in one. I haven't tried this one at all. Um, I have always been an avid lover of the uh, new Hydrofusion uh, Sunscreen. I've been using that one for years. Pretty much as soon as it came out, I fell in love with it because it does not leave any sort of greasy texture. I will do some sort of comparison to it with it. I do apologize, guys. I My upload schedule has been the poops because I just, I mean, I have no excuse. I just, I'm been going a little bit crazy. So anyways, I will have a comparison video up. Have some time off coming up soon, which I'll be editing like crazy. But here it is. We will do a swatch today. Uh, and this one here, it is a two-in-one sunscreen. So it's both sunscreen and moisturizer, which is handy for those who are looking for something super simple. Also, 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 this is handy when you are out at, let's say, the beach or wherever, and you don't want to have to carry a, another moisturizer as well. This is handy because it will moisturize plus give you that sunscreen protection. Um, does it smell like belief? Great question. We're going to find out. So in total, this is 50 ml. And uh, the key ingredients are noli extract, marigold extract, calendula, woodbine, aka honeysuckle herb. Okay, very cool. All right, I think it's sealed. So let's open. Is it sealed? Can I just squeeze? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's find out. So here we go. Okay, let's see what it smells like. But that's the product itself. Oh. It's actually very, very thin. Very. Oh, um, I think it smells a lot like the Belief Aqua Bob with a little bit of a difference. Can't quite pinpoint it yet. But it has a little bit, almost like a little bit more of a bright, brighter note. But yeah, here it is. So I'm just going to rub it into my hands. And so basically this hand will have moisturizer and this hand won't and we'll be able to feel the difference in the skin. So nice and dewy and my regular skin. Let's feel the knuckles. The knuckles are always my telltale area. Okay. Yeah, definitely you can feel the difference in the roughness of my knuckle area after putting it on. It is, it's not, I mean, I can still feel a little bit of the product on my fingers, but I mean, I do expect that with a sunscreen usually. So I'm going, I'm excited to try this with makeup on top to see how makeup will lie on top of it. But I mean, it absorbed quite quickly. There's no white cast at all. And it is SPF 50. So this might be a really great product to have on hand as well. Anyone else have tried this yet? I love the Belief stuff. I know we have quite a few Belief lovers in here. So I'm wondering, will this be my new favorite instead of the a new... Um, the new sunscreen we're not sure we're gonna have to do a comparison to find out but as of right now it is nice uh and it is safe for children six months and older to use you do need to store it between 15 to 30 uh, degrees celsius um and there are other warnings so make sure you do look at that when you're purchase purchasing it um mm -hmm. yeah and that's pretty much it so it is a korean made product so there you go i I like the smell of it. It smells a lot like, like Belief, but just, oh, there's almost like a little bit more orangey citrus to it. 
yeah, but it's really nice. Really, really nice. My skin feels quite soft. It does definitely feel much more hydrated. All right. Whoa, that was a really loud clap. I apologize. I think it echoed against the wall behind you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Next thing we have here is the Wonder Bra. So because of where I'm standing in my house right now, I'm not about to give my neighbors a show. I don't have good curtains over there. This one I didn't close yet. So I'm not going to try this out, but I am going to open it up to show you guys. But this is the Wonder Bra <laughs> Echo Pure... Um, Eco Pure, Eco Pure Everyday Essential Wireless Bra. This colors come in two different colors in both the almond, which is a more like a beigey color, and then this black one that I got. The size that I have is in da, 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 medium. And oh, oh, oh. It does say that you can machine wash this, but use a delicate bag, which is what we always do, anyways. But I'm, ex I'm wondering if what the padding is like because the ones that I've bought so far, most of them do have a bit of a padding except for the first Wonder Bra. <laughs> yes, my neighbors can watch me YouTube. That's not a problem. But I don't think my neighbors want to see me change because you know how sometimes I jump off camera and jump back on? The thing is, I have a curtain in my office that hides like the bouté. <laughs> so, so I'll be like, hey, Bert. My next door neighbor, Bert, they have a beautiful backyard. So I mean... <laughs> Sometimes they lounge it. Probably not at this time of year, though. All right, so here it is. Okay, the material very, very, very nice. Very similar to all the other materials that they they've had. It's very full. Like it's a very large. Oh, okay. Oh, I love these kinds. So it is a it's a full coverage type of a bra, which is nice. I have my son's toy there too, so I gotta be careful. But yeah, so it's like full all the way. It'll cover the entire area. Um, and it, what it does have here, it has like this hook. I think it's called a J hook so that you can change it from racer back to a regular bra. That's really convenient because, I mean, especially in the summer, sometimes I like to wear the racer back style tank tops as opposed to just the traditional tank tops or t-shirts. So that's when this will come in handy, which is really nice. The back here does have um, the closures like so, right? Like that. The band isn't too thin, so it's nice. Very, very nice. And I like the little mesh detail at the front here. It's kind of kind of pretty. So I do like this fabric. There is no additional padding. It is very lightly, I don't want to say padded, but there is a lining. So it depends on, you know, your comfort level. I might actually put in another, um, another padding just like inside just for a little extra coverage. But yeah, I mean, it's too bad it doesn't have those removable cups. That's that's my only thing. So I'll have to try this on some other time, but I do love the feature of this J-hook. I think that's really, 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 really great. Yeah, really great. It goes on and off quite easily too. So there's that. All right, and it comes in sizes small to 2XL in both colors. Um, you'll have to go online to look at the sizing chart and everything. I just don't have it on hand right now. But this one, it does retail for $59.00. And so I've been finding myself buying more and more bras just because Avon has it available. <laughs> but I do need to update my bras because how long do your bras last for? If anybody wants to answer, how long do you keep your bras for? I read somewhere that you're supposed to like say adios to them every, some places I've read said like six months, some places said three months, some people said a year. I don't know. I've had bras for a very, very, very long, long, long time. Like the one, the one I'm wearing right now is over eight years old. <laughs> Is that not so crazy? I got this one that I'm wearing right now from my aunt when I was pregnant with Ginevra. So eight, no, nine years because she gave it to me for Christmas. And I still wear it because it's super comfortable. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Welcome to today's live stream. You, oh, you guys don't have Wonder Bra in the U.S. Interesting. You know, I always wonder how do they choose the product lines from area to like from country to country. It, it's just, it's, it's interesting to me. Like, do they, do they test the market or you know I'm sure they have a, a reason uh, and stuff I know like there's some things that we can't have up here because of FDA rules um, and probably vice versa but things like bras interesting I'm really really hoping and I did hear that we are coming up with some of the La Creme products coming up uh, in the new year so that's great 
All right, next. Oh, I wanted to do this at the beginning. This one here, <laughs> yeah, Ginevra still hasn't let me use it on her head. She is the reason why I bought this. These are the flexible curling rods. I figured I'd do one strand. I don't think it's going to do much just for uh, like the time that I'm doing this one. Ah, oh, well, thank you. I'm glad you enjoy the videos. So here is, it's supposed to be simple to use, can be used day or night, helps prevent breakage to keep your head first free. Interesting. All right, and you can use this on both wet and dry here. So you can see it can bend, bendable like so. So I have never used one of these. So I'm supposed to section my hair. So I'm just gonna do one and see how curly it gets within the time frame that we are here. So here we are. So you wind it around the rod until it reaches the strap. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. Wait, that made no sense. There we go, like so. I wonder if I should have bought two packs because Moy and I have quite a bit of hair. If I'm doing this wrong, let me know. I've never done this before. I'm gonna wind it like this. Is this right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, my, I feel awkward. Ah, okay. Let's restart. All right, for people who are just joining on, yes, I am totally a hair noob. Not that I'm just growing my hair for the first time, but I never know what to do with my hair. So there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Now let's do this. Bend the rods to secure it in place. Ah, okay. I think this is one of those things that I'm going to need to practice if I want to actually use this for a longer period of time. Yes, feel free to giggle at me. Okay, there we go, there we go. All right, now how do I keep this end in place? Have you guys seen the crimping ones? Is crimp's hairstyle coming back? In style? Wait. Okay. I don't know if this is right. We're going to find out. Please, someone tell me what I'm doing wrong. Too much hair on one rod? Possibly. So that means that if I were to do my whole head, I would have to buy like two to three packs. Yeah. All right, it's gonna fall out. It's not gonna stay. All right, let's try one more time with a little less hair. Na, 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 na. My daughter right now, because she really does like the idea of having wavy hair, she's been curling her hair, get this, with Q-tips. She grabs Q-tips. It's so cute. Hello, Octavia, welcome to tonight's live stream and watching me fumble how, uh, while I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Okay, oh, you guys started at the wrong end. Where are you watching from? Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. I, uh, should I be twisting the rod? And what do I do with this little piece here? Because it really doesn't want to stay. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Don't spiral it as I wind. Wait. All right. Don't spiral it as I wind. So like, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, just, oh, oh, oh. Thanks, Pam. I really don't know what I would do without you. Okay. Let's try that. And then how do I keep it up here? though it doesn't want to stay okay oh 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 i think it might have worked okay it's gonna be a little messy but that's okay it's a first time thing you know this is kind of cute hairstyle on its own <laughs> i love it all right so apparently you're supposed to keep it in for a while this one does come in a pack of 12 so a pack of 12 i don't know how much of my hair i'll actually end up doing but we're not going to do all 12 right now because i think that'll take insanely long we're just going to do this one for the duration of tonight's live stream and then we're going to take it out to see what it looks like yes <laughs> barry's 40s i know it's cute right this could be like a whole period look i'll just do my makeup a little bit differently and there you go but i am thinking about chopping my hair guys how short do you think i should go Shoulders, ears, like I did when I got pregnant with Nathaniel. But I, I definitely desperately need a haircut. Desperately. All right, so that's that. This one was going to stay tuned as to what I think of it. But the next off that I got is this here. This is the under eye primer. Somebody did ask me about that. Was it Svetlana? I can't remember if Svetlana was a Johan, if you're watching, um, that asked about this FMG cashmere under eye primer. So what this is... <laughs> ah, gorgeous, right? Now this is... <laughs> yeah, we're going to see if it curls in like... Usually the live streams go for about 40 minutes, so we'll see how long it lasts for. Um, so this is to help prep your under eye area to help the concealer wear all day while reducing the look of dark circles, puffiness, and fine lines. I need this. I have been experiencing such dark circles. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's just I'm not sleeping well enough or what have you, but I'm excited to try this one. 
Um, we can do a swatch right now, but I'm going to do the actual application when I have a clean face because I do have quite a bit of makeup on today. And it's staying pretty well. I'm wearing the Kathy Cat uh, Shadow Gaze Matte Color Stick. I hope I said that right. In Berry. That was my base for the day. And then I used the Enchanted Eyes The Blue from the FMG uh, Eyeshadow Palette. Um, as my liner. Oh my gosh, did you know, did you know, did you know that the um, the shadow stick can actually act like a primer because it made the blue pop so nicely. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right, so here it is. It is five grams of net. Um, this is assembled in the U.S. and it is very teeny tiny, but we're not going to apply it on my, on my face yet, but I am going to do a little swatch here and smell it. Oh, okay. It's tinted. So it is a little tinted. And so I wonder if it has like some pearlesque to it. <laughs> oh, and it's quite thick actually. It's almost like a cream. Huh. Okay. What does it smell like? It smells almost a little bit earthy, spicy. I just put on my lip. I can't pinpoint the smell. <laughs> I also cooked onions and garlic earlier. And I have a little bit of rubbing of that on my hand. It's interesting. Um, it's not a very heavily scented product, so which is great because I find that anything that's like too scented might make my eyes water or make me uncomfortable. So it doesn't have a lot of smell to it. It's almost just like a little spiciness. Yeah. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. And I like the texture of it. It is a bit thicker. Uh, so I think a little bit will go a long, long way. It has a very rich velvety finish to it, almost like it's the Magix. So if you've ever tried the Magix primer, almost feels like that, like that baby softness to the skin. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like right now on the back of my hand. I likes. I do. I like how that feels very velvety. Okay. So this one I'm going to be trying out probably the next time I do more makeup, which may or may not be tomorrow. So then, uh, and that is regular 32 right now is on promo for 26. Uh, and that's how I got on that one right now. Okay. The next thing that we have is this one I've talked about before. This is the Common Relief Physio Gel. This is the cream. If you don't need to stock up right now, I would suggest for you to wait until the Boxing Day, the, the Campy 28, I think is where I saw it on sale. It's like $5 even cheaper. So, but it's a really, really great product. So at that time, I'll probably buy another one. This one here is for dry, irritated, sensitive skin. Again, my doctor's, sorry, my daughter's pediatrician recommended this one particular by name for her eczema. I have my mom on it, my uncle on it, and I just got my dad started using it too, and both of my kids use it. It's a really nice product, and when my skin gets really, really, really irritated and agitated, I use this in in um, in um replacement of any of my other skincare products, just because it is super, 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 super gentle. So this product, I always have extra on hand. Uh, I have, the, right now the kids are using the lotion, but she never did specifically say she likes the for formula of the cream more. I might still get another one of the lotions, because I really like how quickly that absorbs into Nathaniel's skin, because he doesn't like when, when I moisturize him. He's like, Rah! all over the place so i think that will really work for him hello everyone who just came on welcome 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 yes we're testing out one of the curling rods today we're going to see how long well what happens after about 40 minutes oh north carolina Ooh, very nice i've never been to the carolinas is it cool right now i i'm i'm so oblivious to know this <laughs> i i need to travel more all right um, the next thing here is the lemon shower gel. So I did talk about this when I opened it up during last week's live stream when I did the an unboxing of my $1,900 worth of products. Uh, you can still see the sign over there. Yes, I have not put it away yet. And But anyways, that is the, this. This is the Refreshing Lemon Skin So Soft Shower Gel. I found out like yesterday that they actually have an avocado one too, <gasps> which is great for the, uh, great for like this time of the year, I think, because I think it'll be a little bit even more moisturizing. However, I also learned today while I was looking up the pro this product, because I always try to have the product information on hand on my computer here so that I can read up some information for you guys. But anyways, did you know that this also comes in one of the shower hooks? The shower hook size? I was so surprised. So this one, it what it, um, 
it's uh, with citrus extract. However, the scent of this one, and it smells really, really lovely. Like, it smells like happiness. Literally, that's what it smells like. It smells like happiness. So don't worry, guys. This is my bottle. So I think, yeah, I did open it up a little bit earlier last week. It just it smells so bright, so fresh, so yummy. And it reminds me a lot of the Kachina Verb... I think it's like verbena, yuzu and verbena. It just smells so like invigorating and, and 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 exciting. I really, 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 really like this one. I also really tend to gravitate towards more of the citrusy, fruity shower gels, but not berries. Nelson is using a berry one right now. I don't like it. <laughs> so he has his shower gel. I have mine because we obviously have different tastes in shower gels. But yeah, so this one here, it is uh, 865 ml. So this is the jumbo size. It does come with a pump, just FYI. And it all comes in like this I love, all nice and packaged in a box, both the pump and the product. So I don't have to like figure out which pump goes with which products. I'm really happy about that. However, there is the shower hook size and the shower hook size. If you're looking for a smaller formula, um, that one is 190 ml. Yeah, but it does say limited time. So if you do want to try this, make sure you do contact your representative right away. And if you don't have representatives, I always have my link in the description box after the stream is done. But yeah, this really 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 nice i'm hoping that if there's enough love for it people um avon will just keep it on hand and make it a regular uh yeah yeah do you guys remember the uh what was it banana banana coconut one that they had from senses i think at least 10 or 11 years ago that one was so amazing oh really they're so they're sold out yeah even the avocado one yeah this one does have a pump it does have a pump. It came all within the box. All nice and tight and tidy. Um, I wonder if the avocado one sold out too then. Oh, that's so sad. I wonder if they'll restock. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right. So the next thing that I got, and I did show this during the last live stream too, but I mean, I almost every campaign, I get myself jewelry as if I need jewelry. I still need to show you guys my earring collection. Once I get my room cleaner, I will show you guys my earring collection because I have a very extensive one. I showed it one to one of my friends and they're like, no, Jess, you don't have an earring collection. You have an earring addiction. Maybe, but I'm going to keep calling it a collection as opposed to an addiction. But aren't these cute? They're really cute. I just love how fun the colors are. So I, <laughs> and I have a pearl theme going on right now. Um, I do, I am going away on a trip to the down south. Um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I disclosed at where yet. So I'm, not, I'm just gonna keep that, you know, quiet. But anyways, I am going on a trip to down south uh, in January. In <laughs> like four weeks. I'm so excited. Uh, how do I store? Great question. You know what? Over the holidays, I'm going to try to make a point of getting my room in order. And then I'll show you guys. I have a couple of ways that I do it. Um, and my newest method is my favorite because it's a very, very much of a visual person. I like to see it in front of my face or else I forget about things. Kind of like fruit. That's why there's always fruit on my counter. So I remember to eat it. Kate, hey love, how you doing? Welcome to tonight's live stream. Uh, so yeah, these, I just think they're just so fun and cute. You know, I almost wish they had like a double strand like this. Yeah, I think, oh, yeah, the double strand would have been super cute. But anyways, I really like these. They're fun and just kind of festive at the same time. By the way, how is everyone doing for the holidays? Are you all ready for the holidays? I'm not even close. I'm still shopping. And now Ginevra just gave me a list of things to buy for all of her little friends. So yay, I love shopping. Don't get me wrong, I love shopping. I just, I'm just be fine, <laughs> that's all. All right, next thing I have is this. I'm not gonna do a demo on this because I've done a full video on this already. You can always check that out. It's uh, under, I think, my body care collection. Um, this one, oh my gosh. I heard the discontinuing it. It is one of my all-time favorite products. Pam, thank you so much for encouraging me to get it and try because I ridiculously love this product. When I heard that it was gonna be discontinued, I bought three extra ones because I really love it. It's a really, really, really good product. It's just to help to like get rid of all that dead skin. And it's just so satisfying. No problem, Kate, uh, Thursday or Friday. Okay, like let's touch base after the live stream and we'll figure out a time to chat, okay, love? Probably in the either late morning or afternoon. But yeah, this guy's really great product, super easy to use. I just can't stop saying great things about it. 
it's really great and it smells nice too it doesn't have like an off-putting scent so that's that and then I also talked about this if you missed my last live stream I had a wonderful story about this thing this is called a guatsa tool which I think it literally translates to scraping sand that's what I think it translates to so um i have a lovely story about this in my last live stream so you're gonna have to check this out uh, check it out after this one but i i am excited to use this one i have to watch they did say to wash it first before using it so i'm going to try this out and don't wash it in hot water but yeah i'm really excited to try this one out i can open up the package to show you there it is okie dokie Oh, hey it's actually I actually thought it was gonna be like a plastic material wow this is nice really really nice okay I'm excited to try this one out but yeah it go like whoop, whoop, whoop. and we'll I'll, I'll uh, do a little bit more research on how to use it because I've never used anything like that before the only thing I ever used is my roller and I love my roller okay couple more things before we're done for the night we have this. I did not order this. This was a gift from Avon and I don't know why. So if anybody has any idea why in Avon Canada I received one of these, thank you Avon. I saw a couple of people said they received it for free. So thank you Avon for this. Maybe it's like one of those appreciation gifts, but isn't this just super pretty? So this is in the scent Rare Pearls and it is a shimmering body mist. I do love shimmery things. So, and like coming from a dance background, this would have been great during my dance comp days or during my dance performance days uh, because it just gives that extra little like ta da ness to, to, to your outfit. Um, it's taped a little bit weird. I was going to demo it, but I don't know how I'm looking at this thing off. It, oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's like, it's not normally that. There we go. It's, it's like literally tape, which is odd. You got a free far away one. Do you know why? Like, was it like a, a promotion that we, we got or, you know, for something? Um, but yes, so far away, that's a really lovely scent. I have a lot of customers. Actually, I have a new client who's looking uh, to purchase like 15 bottles of it. So, oh, yes. Rare Pearls, Rare Gold from the Rare line is one of my favorite ones, um, like out of that line. But the Rare Pearls is nice too. So let's do a little spritz. Everything's on my left hand. I'm going to have a buildup of stuff on my left hand. Oh yeah, this is my hand before. There you go. Come on. Okay, so it is a mist. See a little bit of shimmer? It's very subtle, which is nice. Oh yeah. I was actually hoping that it would be a hair mist. Like a shimmering hair mist. How pretty would that look? Like just, and just a little bit like, whew. Yeah, I, I fall in love with hair mist. I think I've discovered that. I love hair mist. So I think it's just a little bit of fragrance. And it's just, it's such a fun and almost flirtatious way, even though who am I flirting with? Flirting with Nelson. And nothing wrong with that. Uh, for those who don't know, Nelson's my husband. Um, but it's just, I love hair mist because it's such a light scent and it's, it's just not overpowering. But yeah, okay. So it's dried now. And do, do you see how it's catching the light? It's super delicate. It's just like a little kiss of a fairy tale. I love that. It's so pretty. But yeah, if you have like, you know, a really nice outfit on, you put a little bit on your chest, your decollage, maybe on your back. I mean, back in the day, I would just break, like, I would have just showered <laughs> in something like this. No, on scented, of course. But I would have showered in something like this for, for dance shows and stuff. So thank you, Avon. Um, all right, next thing. We have like two more things. Three more things. Yes, three more things this this is the wrapper helper i think this is genius because i can't cut in a straight line i don't know how i'm going to demo this but i did try it out because i'm kind of bad at contraptions um so how it works from what i understand is you have your roll like so and you know how when you try to cut it kind of goes like at least it does for me and so i was like Okay, let's get one of these and let's see what happens. And so you put your roll in like so. Oh, it's not going to fit. This is too big of a roll. I think it does, uh, the size of the roll does make a difference too. No, this one doesn't fit. Oh, that's not a good demo, Jess. Wait, does it? Does it? Wait, 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 wait. Give me two seconds. 
Because I tried it on a different one earlier. This one doesn't fit. 10 seconds. Right back. I'm back. Okay, so we'll fit into the big roll. So at least it's good to know. So if you always buy the giant rolls, it might not happen. Like the ones with the really big... I can't think of what's called. Toilet paper roll thing, but not toilet paper wrapper roll thing. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, need more coffee. So all you do is, this one doesn't have the thing in it, so that's why I, I tested on this one. But um, this is the Elmo one. And so I just put it in. Wait, can't do it that angle. Let me just get it set up first. There we go. Okay, so I just stick it in like this. Diameter. Thank you. Um, yeah, it, it can't be too big of a diameter. Thank you and it just cuts, and it's cut so well. Watch it make a liar of me right now. Oops. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to have it have on, on a solid surface, I think. This is a live demo gone wrong. Ultimate fail. I'm going to have to film this separately. I was hoping to show you guys, but I did cut a sliver of it earlier and it was really, really, really great. Like, look at how straight that is. That never happens for me. I want to demo it some other way. I can't do it on this angle trying to maneuver it here. But anyways, <laughs> but that's okay. But it, let's, I'm just saying this was a really great tool to get and I'm excited to use it once I finally order the products that I'm buying for gifts and wrap them up for my friends and family. Um, second last product we're gonna get, we're gonna talk about, uh, is, where is it, where is it, where is it? This one here, Light Mauve. So this is the nail polish. I end up ordering one of every single color. Yep, I did. Um, and so there, I think there was like a total of 10 shades. And this one here is in Light Mauve. Look how pretty this color is. Ah, it's so nice. And we're just going to try it out. I heard that the taupe one is selling really well. How smelly is it? Yeah, it smells like nail polish. All right, so let's just do one nail. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a beautiful color. I haven't painted my nails since the spa day that Nelson treated me to. Okay, glides on really well, but here's the color. I really like how subtle it is. Oh, it's super pretty. Not to paint the rest of my nails. <gasps> wow. Okay, I wonder how quickly it'll dry. Has I'm sure some of you guys have tried it. What are your thoughts been on it so far? As of right now, I mean, it, it goes on really well. I like the shape of these bottles. I think it's very... Oh, it's just very sleek looking. And I do like the color choices. I'm hoping that eventually, as we get more and more um, shades, they'll have like different finishes, like with a little bit of the the glitter my mom loves glitter she really really wants the glitter ones back so hopefully we'll get some more uh more uh shades eventually but look at that isn't that it's just so shiny too very very pretty okay now while i wait for that to dry we're going to talk about this this i was shocked about when i saw it i was like in uh it was only on the on online exclusives this is a sweet honesty uh avon classics collection hand cream Long to dry, but stayed unchipped for long to. Oh, good to know. Does one coat do the job? So I think it depends on what you're looking for. Right now, if I like it super sheer, and so for me, yes, I think one coat will do the job if I'm just looking for something really sheer and it is a lighter shade. Now, if it's a darker shade, it will probably want to do the, <clears throat> excuse me, two to three coats because um, just to make it look more even. But for this one here, it was very, I found it very even with just one coat. And it's really pretty. Like, I really like this color. Like, wow. It's it's a very nice neutral for me. Like, I'm, it works really well with my skin tone. And then I could put some of those holiday decors on it. That'd be fun. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed the videos. Um, but it's lost state and chip for a long time too. That's great. That's really, really great. Do you typically uh, like wear gloves when you wash wash things? Um, like do dishes and things, Pam, or like cleaning and things? Because I'm wondering how well it'll last with uh, doing chores around the house. That would be interesting. <clears throat> um, okay, so this is formulated 
with jojoba seed oil and vitamin E. Um, and they do have a different scents. So I know that there's also the Timeless one and the Night Magic one. I'm gifting those ones away already, but this one is for me to try because Caitlin over in BC recommended for me to try the Sweet Honesty scent in the Skin Softener. But I mean, I think this would be a similar scent, but not a different, but a different formula. But anyways, so we're trying this one. I don't think I've ever used anything with from Sweet Honesty. The right. Do you apply the dial so you can see them? For me, um, I think I would, I would apply them like so. Like, you know what? That's a great question. I think it's about personal preference, but I personally think that I would do it so that th it would be this way is up. For me, because I think that would be my enjoyment more so than anything. <laughs> but that's just me. I wonder. Let's see. Unicorn nails. I wonder when they do that at salons, what do they do? Oh, when they do it in the salons, they do it the other way so that it's like right side up this way. Because I just did unicorn nails and like they did it so that the, the face was like, this is the nose. Yeah. So I guess it all depends. I mean, do a mix of both. So you can have a conversation both ways. Or one hand one way, the other hand the other way. That's so gross. <laughs> yeah. Who's enjoying Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I don't. Honestly, I don't go out enough. So it's just more for me. It's more than anything. I love I love how shiny it is with just one coat. And for with one coat, this is dry for me already. You guys will never guess what I did last night. I painted Nelson's toenail. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's gonna laugh if I if you thought I told you guys. But yeah, he he chipped a nail. He he didn't chip a nail. I mean, I don't want to make it sound like it was something very, very, very minor. He actually broke his toenail to like about here. And I didn't have any nail glue. So I was like, well, I could put some nail polish on it. Do you want me to do that? Just kind of help it stick together. He's like, yes. So I could have picked, you know, a nice light shade like this. But I decided to go big or go home. No, he was very much awake and he agreed to it. He even stayed up late to make sure it was super dry. So that it wouldn't smudge on the sheets and it looks great i picked the brightest do you remember mambo what's it called like mambo melon the super bright orange that's why i painted my my husband's toenails he only let me do two toenails though the big one because that was the one that he uh, he broke but the other one was, i just kind of snuck it in while he was watching tv i was like doo, doo, doo. <laughs> yeah all right so let's try out sweet honesty <clears throat> So it is sealed on the inside. Do you need to open it up? Da, da, da. Oh, these never open for me. I always have the hardest time. Clear the nose. Oh! That is so different that than what I expected. Hmm. Solid plum. <laughs> that the kids see them yet. No, he's kept his socks on all day. All day. Mind you, he also had to work. Um, he had to go in the office for a meeting today. So he was gone for most of the day, but he kept his socks on when he came out. I was hoping that he'd show the kids, but he did it. I'm excited to, to, to see Ginevra and Nathaniel's reaction. All right, let's try this one. Okay. Cool to the touch. I am... I'm very pleasantly surprised by this <clears throat> sorry i need to get a cup a sip of tea okay all right so it is is not a super thick hand cream like our moisture therapy line it goes on quite easily interesting it's kind of like a mix of soap meets a little bit of baby powder meets some sort of floral. It's very interesting. I like it though. It's It reminds me of a soap my mom, probably Sweet Honesty soap to be honest with you, if we had that back in the day. My mom was an avid Avon lover, she still is. And it, it absorbed my skin insanely fast, faster than the, than the belief. Like it's already like moisturized in my skin. And my knuckles now feel great. Spot of tea. Yes, I needed a spot of tea for sure. <laughs> oh. And as it mixes in with my 
natural body oils and the garlic spell on my hands, I guess. I like it even more. I'm surprised. I didn't think I was going to like it too much, to be honest with you. Caitlin, you're right. BC Kate. I do really like it. It has a very unique smell, but it's very clean. It's a very clean scent, so it's not like I'm wearing a lot of perfume or anything, and there's nothing wrong with you do, guys. It's just, it's not my style. But it has a very clean smell to it. It's almost comforting, the scent. That's how I'm 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 relating to this because it's reminding me of like almost walking back into my parents' bathroom and opening up like my mom's storage drawer, like that type of a set. I really it yeah huh I'm pleasantly surprised. There you go. I like sweet honesty. I never thought I did. I never thought I would. Thanks for the recommendation. So, out of everything so far, everything has been great, as always. <laughs> I love Avon. Okay, so let's see how this turns out. Are we ready? So this has been in for, it was at 19, so about 30 minutes. I'm not expecting ringlets out of this whatsoever. I think, if anything, that would have to do a little bit longer. Yeah, I'm, we, I was at a grocery store and we was lining up, and it was just, it was a lot of fragrance for sure. From a, a, so I understand what you mean. Comes out, oh, oh, oh! What? I was so skeptical. What? Oh my gosh. Look out. Wow. I, I'm shocked. That worked so well. Yes, guys, I know. I've never used one of these before, so that's why I'm so shocked that it worked. Because, <laughs> you know, I've used those, like, Velcro rollers before, and all that does is just make a mess on my hair and gives me frizz. This is no frizz. This can be cute. I mean, I'd have to definitely do a little bit lower. That, yeah, that was a, that's a lot of wave. Check that out. And I just washed my hair last night, which means that I don't have that much oil in my hair to help keep things... And look how bouncy that is. I am so impressed. What? Okay. 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 So when I do this next, I think I'm going to focus more on the bottom. So Pam, you're absolutely right. Don't spiral it while I'm rolling it. Just roll. Because this part was the part that I spiraled. And this part was just the one I did how you told me to. And look at the difference it made. And you can also see my extremely one strand of very white hair there. I refuse to pull it. I refuse to pull it. I'm trying my very darnest not to pull it. But yeah, like in in 30 minutes, guys, that's a lot of wave. I like it a lot. Okay, worked really well. And it's not frizzy. Like when I used to use the Velcro ones, it would just like give me a lot of poof. Yeah, I'm going to show her the waves. I'm going to show her the tail end of this video. And, uh, she might let me do it. I don't know what it is. She just, I, she has a fear of the unknown and that's okay. But yeah. Okay. Totally sold. I might have to get a second set because I don't think 12 will be enough for my head. I may have to get another set of them. But gosh, look at that. I am super impressed. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all the new products that I have to show you guys tonight. Next week, we'll be back live again at 9 p.m. to do our late night unboxing um as of right now it's not a giant order but it still be a very nice order uh for those who are looking to order the haiku right now i think they're doing a replacement you can either wait for it or they're doing a replacement of the layers we to find in freesia which is a really great offer uh, for the same price point so reps make sure you check that out customers if you're looking for that and trying something new great price point to try a new fragrance um and yeah so next week 9 p.m we'll be back again thank you so much for joining tonight if you have any questions make sure you do leave a comment if i missed one of your comments during the live stream i'll do my very best to answer it in the comment section after this pops up as a replay if you enjoyed tonight's live stream make sure you do some show, show some love give me that big fat thumbs up because it does help out the channel a lot 
happy holidays if I don't speak to you again. Um, yeah, I'm trying very hard to keep the late nights going. Uh, I'm going to be, I'll be able to do two more before the holidays and then I'm taking a couple weeks off. Um, yeah, I know daytime, daytime is easier for me. <laughs> But I think harder for you guys to come on. So, um, but I mean, I always catch the replays because I always try to have them live. By the way, I, I just saw a feature on YouTube where you can go live with somebody else. If somebody wants to test that with me, let me know. Send me a, a PM on either Instagram or uh, Facebook. I, I need a guinea pig because <laughs> there's like this new feature and I just want to test it out. Um, if you guys have time, I would love to test it out with somebody. All right, so until next time, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. And if you are out there watching this for the first time and you want to learn more about becoming an Avon representative up here in Canada, make sure you do reach out to me for a no-obligation 15-minute chit-chat just to let you to learn about what Avon's all about. Have a wonderful evening, guys. Happy holidays if I don't see you. And mwah, good night. Thanks for joining. Bye.